Last time on Close Call Sports. Jeff McNeil drawing Jeff's ire at second base. Little spike on the right leg. Now everybody coming out of the dugouts. After the game was over, uh, there were some words exchanged in the clubhouses as well. I was just kind of letting whatever McNeil needed to get out, let him get it out, and um, he just he just seems to be complaining when things aren't going well. And didn't like his slide. Um, I wasn't trying to turn the double play at all. You know, I was just trying to catch the ball. There was no need to break it up. You know, he's had some pretty questionable slides at, at second base for sure. Um, definitely remember looking at some in the past that were uh, definitely not okay. Oops, I accidentally cued a McNeil slide. Anyway, that brings us to game two and one of the earlier ejections you'll see to start the season. Before the game, Reese Hoskins in the Brewers' dugout. Uh, City villain Reese Hoskins. Hoskins already three for three in this game, including a home run. This is Hoskins going back into the bag at first. Here we go to the seventh inning. And oh. that one sails over his head. Oh, boy. I don't know if there was intent involved. Oh, boy. Mets fans love it, but here's what I like. Notice the plate umpire Lance Barrett. This is textbook. Getting the player to their own side. There's no bench clearing. And then trying to explain to the manager, yeah, we need to get the crew together to talk about this. In the olden days, it would be simple. Time and eject on the spot. Four years ago, MLB came out with that memo about getting together first. So the first order of business, get the team separated so you know that they're not going to do something behind your back while you're having the conference. Then have the conference. The issue of warnings? I mean, what else would they be discussing? Warning. It has to be a warning. We have seen an ejection. Ramirez has been ejected from this game. Uh, I was trying to tell the umpire there that I, that I was trying to throw my sinker and it just happened to go, go, go further in. Um, but uh, especially with the weather the way that it was. but um, they, they Rule 602C9 states that if you find intent, you have the option of either ejecting or warning. Has to be one of the two. You can't do nothing. And in this situation, given everything that's happened, first pitch by this batter to this hitter, all of that, you have an ejection. I think if it was earlier in the game, you probably get a warning. But in the seventh, it's eject time. It's given that this guy has already hit a single home runs, etc. And now Carlos Mendoza comes out to argue that. Bad time, says Alfonso Marquez. The umpire's telling him, hey, our ass is in the Find jackpot. The right in the situation! Oh, why do you yes! know the situation? And bad time is similar to that situation. It's a common thing. This is the wrong time for that. If you did it in the first inning, you probably get a warning, but not after all of that. I mean, it didn't come close to it. Pat Murphy was coming out to say, it's like, he not just the throw that's out of line, but then it's him running in. Alvarez said on the inner part, and all of his intention was right at Hoskins. Yeah, you hate to see it, you know. Obviously, when it first happened, you know, you, I couldn't tell what was, the, what was the pitch. Definitely not trying to hit him. You know, I understand the, their frustration with everything that's going on, that what happened yesterday and things like that. Um, you know, obviously, he threw behind him. You know, when you look at the – I just went back and looked at him, and it's, it's going to be a topic because of obviously what happened yesterday. And, uh, you know, look, he's having a great game. So it's a combination, the slide, and he's three for three with a home run. But the bigger piece is obviously the slide. That's like 99% of this. You don't throw at someone after he's beat your head in. That's not when you throw at someone. The big game management takeaway, get everyone separated. Well done in that regard. Do you think that this was intentional? Was it ejection worthy? We'll see on the next one. This is one of the earlier ejections of the season. Usually there's a week of honeymoon, but... I guess not when you have a slide on the first day of the season that is leg on leg. With everything that happened yesterday, probably the right move. 